You did mention how the dynamics did shift this debate because going into the first debate, Governor Ron DeSantis was the front runner of that pack, obviously, sans Donald Trump. Now it seems like a different story because Governor DeSantis and Vivek Ramaswamy were immediately going after Nikki Haley to the point where she said they're just jealous. What do you think of this dynamic shift? Well, it's a dynamic shift reflected in the reality of polling, whether you believe in polls or not. The funny thing, Brittany, is you people in politics tend to believe a lot in polls when it shows them doing well. And when they're not doing as well, they discount them. I think Governor DeSantis, early on in the debate, tried to discount any of the polls that are showing him starting to flag in relation to Nikki Haley and the others. Um, but uh, I think the dynamic here in the die is set. Uh, and can we talk just for a second about what's ahead? You've got Iowa, where everyone says, oh my God, it's a make or break state. It could be for Governor DeSantis because if he doesn't rise to expectations in Iowa, right now he's polling fourth in New Hampshire. I don't care what poll you're looking at, he's not doing well there. Doesn't figure to do well in South Carolina, which is shortly after that. He's gotta do well there. He has a decision to make about whether or not he continues in this race actually after Iowa, um, given he's still governor of the state of Florida, he can go back home and say, I have unfinished business. But Iowa has a very spotty track record in terms of predicting Republican winners in the uh, in the primary, you know, the last three competitive ones, you have to discount 20, which is kind of a walkover for Donald Trump. In 12, 16, in, in 2016, 12, and eight, those three. The three winners in Iowa, good, good trivia quiz, uh, were Huckabee, who of course went on to, uh, to ignominy, right? Rick Santorum and Ted Cruz. Huckabee, Santorum, Cruz, good guys. None of them really went anywhere in the presidential race. So you really get to New Hampshire. New Hampshire has nearly 40% of the electorate registered as uh, unaffiliated independents. And independents can vote in either primary uh, by law in New Hampshire. The first real test, Brittany, is New Hampshire. But I'm not sure that Governor DeSantis survives till then. Uh, because uh, if he does poorly in Iowa versus expectations and in New Hampshire, that certainly is those ill, not just for his presidential prospects, but his ability to come back to Florida and have you know, a position of political strength to govern. govern. Chris Christie actually has a, a shot to overwhelm people with expectations uh, in New Hampshire because of that independent factor. Even Democrats, by the way, election day registration, Democrats can on election day change their registration. I don't think many will, frankly, because a lot of Democrats don't ever want to think they were once registered as Republican. But it's it's kind of an open derby. Uh, and I think in terms of Vivek Ramaswamy, uh, when you get past his caustiqueness and restlessness and all that stuff, I think he's auditioning for the future, not for 